What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Teaching Trends. My name is Carla, teaching you all about those trends in YouTube updates, remote work from home jobs, and healthcare. Welcome to everyone who is returning, my subscribers, as well as those who are first time viewing my content. I appreciate every single last one of you. That being said, let's get right into it today. Today's trending topic is ICD-10-CM. ICD-10-CM is a type of coding in the medical field for diagnoses for different types of conditions to include injuries, illnesses, different types of neoplasms, growths, cancers, etc. With what's going on right now with the pandemic and so many new conditions and so many new people being treated for conditions, we have more records than ever before that need to be coded. So today I am showing you this coding certificate course that you can get through the Medicare Learning Network, which is part of Medicare's learning system. ICD-10-CM is International Classification of Diseases, CM. I'm going to be getting right into the basics of how you look up codes. This is part of my newest Teach Yourself series. You can get a certificate in this course yourself and as well as teach yourself coding. I'm going to be teaching some classes in this as well. So hang tight for those of you who like this, but want a little bit more hands on. So what we see here with our international classification of disease coding is that we have a couple of steps that are just basic. Number one, we're going to be looking up our term in the alphabetic index alphabetically. And then two, we're going to verify in our tabular list. I will show you how to do this. I will drop the links in the comments and description so that you can get this free certificate course. It comes along with this job aid that you see that can walk you through how to start becoming a beginning coder. So let's get right into it. We have iron deficiency anemia. We've heard of someone having anemia before, and this is a type of diagnosis that you would look up in your ICD-10-CM book. So we're going to start by looking this up in the alphabetic index, as you see here, and then confirming it in our tabular list. So I'm going to show you what the alphabetic index looks like. You can get this free guide as well, this coding guides, the free alphabetic index, and the free tabular list. I will leave those links once again below. So as you see here, we have our alphabetic index here on our screen. Everything is in alphabetical order um, all the way, and that's why they call it an alphabetic index. Our diseases are listed alphabetically. Now we see the bold title here, and underneath we have a dash for any kind of subterms or terms that further help describe the condition. Sometimes there's different types of anemia or different types types of hypertension. So we want to get as descriptive as we can. So what we're looking up is iron deficiency anemia. So in my search box, you see at the top of the screen here, I'm going to take my mouse and kind of circle around it. I've typed in anemia and I'm going to search for anemia. Now, this anemia kind of comes up in the context or in a subterm. I'm looking for the main term anemia. So I'm going to search and keep looking until I get to my anemia category. So it looks like um, I have anemia here, and that is my main term. It said iron deficiency. So I'm going to look for iron. So I see drugs. I see blood loss combined. Keep in mind, the subterms are also alphabetical. So I'm just going to scroll down here until I see something that gives me a clue on my iron deficiency. So I'm still under anemia, and I'm still looking for my key term. I'm still in H. Up, oh, and what do you know? Right here, iron deficiency. 
it is giving me D50.9. So I'm going to write that down, D50.9, and I'm going to go to my second step, which is to confirm in the tabular list. So here we are in our tabular list, and we are going to look up that D50.9. As you see, if we're looking for D50.9, it tells us that D50.9 would fall into diseases of the blood and blood forming organs. So it sounds like I'm in the right place because anemia does affect the blood. So I'm going to type D50.9 here and see what it gives me. We have D50, which is iron deficiency. That is true. And we're going to scroll down. And what do you know? We have iron deficiency anemia. We're also going to read around our code to see if there's any guidelines like includes notes and exclusion notes like this says here. I'll talk more about that in another video, but my steps would be to follow along the alphabetic index, the tabular list. So it looks like in our tabular list, D50.9 is iron deficiency anemia. So let's go back to our example and go over how we got here. So iron deficiency anemia, we checked out our alphabetic index alphabetically for anemia, and then we searched for our key term. So we went to anemia, we scrolled down, we found iron deficiency, and it was D50.9. We then went to our tabular list to D50.9 to confirm, and it told us that our code there was iron deficiency D50.9 unspecified. Thank you for joining me one more time for my Teach Yourself series. I will put the link in the comments where you can get your free coding guides on the CMS website and this free certificate course. If you want to know more about the different types of billing and coding, different salaries or anything like that in trending topics as far as healthcare jobs and remote jobs in healthcare, you can join me right here at this playlist.